Well, northeastern Australia is being pounded by one of the biggest storms in years, tropical so, cyclone. Um, Danielle, let's just start with you. What's the latest where you are? It has been creating a path of destruction and it might be deceptive at the moment. In Airlie, the eye of the storm is passing through right now. now let's get the latest from Danielle Robertson. Uh, she's with Sky News Australia and she joins us from the town of Ayr in North Queensland. Danielle, thank you for your time. Tell us about the situation where you're at right now. Please. We could see winds in excess of 230 kilometres per hour, four metre tidal surges and a flooding rain. Around. Well, Sky News Australia reporter Danielle Robertson joins us now from air in Queensland. They're used to cyclones in that part of the world. Uh, how serious is this one? Well, authorities have said that this is the biggest cyclone Queensland has seen in six years. The last... Danielle Robertson joins us now from Air in far north Queensland. Uh, Danny, good evening. Uh, thankfully, it's past where you are, but give us an idea what is happening now. And all roads in and out of Bowen and Proserpine have now been closed. Authorities say this is just a sign of things to come. Yeah, they... Right now in the heart of Bowen, you can see trees are sprawled all over the streets. This extends for kilometres along this line. We're right on the waterfront here where we were expecting huge tides. Tidal surges. You take us Thank through you. exactly what damage has happened and the potential cost. Uh, we've lost the back end of the factory. Uh, flooding so. is a major risk at the moment and the Australian Defence Force personnel have just arrived here in Bowen and they are here to assess the damage and help anyone in need. We will have more than 60,000 people without power at the moment and the Premier has said it could take up to a week for this to be restored. Now, this house here... Line, this cyclone has affected up to 300,000 people. People in the region and cut-off roads are making it difficult for authorities to bring that network back up again. The Premier visited Bowen today. She said one of the priorities is isolated communities. They have absolutely no communication at the moment and they cannot call for help. On Daydream Island, there are 200 guests and 100 staff who are safe, but they are running out of water. The we will, in fact, see the aftermath of Cyclone Debbie become more apparent in the coming days. Power lines that have just been left dangling. And this is just one example of many structures right across the town here. And of course... Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull also wanted to make note that this is a bipartisan effort. It is going to be, the recovery efforts are going to be 75% federal and 25% state. He also noted that we have one of the biggest pre-deployments of Australian defence personnel to rubble. Yachts have littered the coastline and they have been washed ashore and damaged when the height of Cyclone Debbie hit. These vessels dragged their 80-tonne moorings when the storm lashed the coast with wind gusts in excess of 260 kilometres per hour. The sails have been torn off and ripped apart and some boats are still drifting out to sea. He said, although the storm is over, the clean-up has just begun. No communication at the moment. You can see locals here are still cleaning up the mess from Cyclone Debbie. Even made an evacuation order on Daydream Island today. There were in excess of 300 people stuck there without food. As petrol, food and supplies run low, frustrations are running high. Many of the... The losses could be worse than what we saw in Yasi six years ago, Paul. Danny, get inside. Your dad's a fan of the show. He'll be watching and he wants to make sure that his daughter's safe. Thank